without being too emotional about it, because, you know, markets fluctuate. This is good. Like volatility. All right. That's how you get gains, too. But I got a couple of my friends know. yesterday were, uh, were like, uh, dude, did you look at the market today? I'm like, nah. Don't I'm like, look. You've gotten me thinking about these annuities, though, in a whole new way, um, like researching it, learning about GameBridge, which is cool because especially right now, I'm looking into <laughs> maybe putting a little more of a hedge into certain accounts or diversifying a bit. Like I'm heavy in tech, heavy, 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 always have been. It's it's actually a problem. And which I was talking about 30% in the past. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like well, all Grandpa Morty's <laughs> inherited IRA is like, <laughs> But that was your, that somebody, I was telling somebody about that, you know, so when we first started talking about this, I bought one of Game Bridges that it's a thousand dollar minimum, mm -hmm. uh, whatever. I bought one in mid April. Right. And, and I was laughing last week because, you know, you get little updates and my, my thousand dollars is now worth a thousand, like $3 and 20. Uh, I thought you were going to say 20, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's so, oh, that'd it's be so nice. really, be nice. yeah. no, no, it doesn't move like that. Like that's why people. Yeah. You know, I think the market has been a place where people have been like, oh my God, I'm not going to 3% return. Who cares? Right. Well, what I like is 3% return. Fine. It's less than inflation. So I might be losing some money, but uh, I still got my thousand dollars I had in April. It's not the same in my crypto account or my, my Robinhood account or my Merrill Lynch account or anything else. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, well, I see where this fits, you know, which is, which is cool. Yeah, but it has a role for sure. Got a role. I think it's a matter of the ease of use. So yeah. look, my impression of annuities before I even learned about all this was that there was something about it that I had a bad taste in my mouth. And a lot of the advisors that I work with, like there's this implicit kind of, because uh, it, it's not a fiduciary thing and there's fees yeah. and kickbacks when advisors are selling them, the guys that are selling insurance, right? But if you're DIY, if you're a retail investor, if you're managing your own money, like I do, I could go buy an annuity on Gamebridge. I don't have to talk to anybody. You do it in 10 minutes Tells and you it's exactly transparent. What you're get. Here, and I get an NFT. <laughs> it's, it's like getting an NFT. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but no, it, there's a place. And, and just like anything else, I wouldn't have NFTs be all in my portfolio. Uh, I'm not going to have annuity. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's the idea of what is a balance for, you know, portfolio look like, you know, you talk about that a lot is like, go educate yourself and, and figure out what, how to diversify. Right. Every, Nick, I listen to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> but um, my friend, Nick, he just put out a book called uh, just keep buying. It's like one of the top bestsellers in the wealth management category on Amazon, excellent book for basically any level, but especially beginning investors. And he has this rule, he talks like for personal finance, he always does this. Uh, if he's buying, let's say a nice pair of shoes, let's say he spent 600 bucks on shoes, he has right. to put $600 into an investment. So oh, he's no. allowed to spend when he invests, when it's like, let's say over 200 offset, bucks, offset that's amount. his rule. So if yeah. you were doing that, oh, okay, I'm gonna spend a thousand bucks on a nice handbag, but then I have to do another thousand into Gainbridge or something like as with those kind of purchases, you could kind of set yourself like, up I, for- I, I, I like that, that's smart. I like that too. Yeah. Uh, that's good. I'll, I'll read that. What's that again? It's called Just Keep Buying. Just Shout keep to Nick. Shout to Nick. Way to go, Nick. You sold the book. Yeah. Or Emily sold the book for you. I know. But he's got really good content about um, personal finance. He's pretty conservative in ways. Uh, I'm, I'm much less conservative. Yeah. But I'm still looking into the annuities thing because I think I've, I've veered a little too far in that path of like sure. super risky, super long time frame, like let's go without being too emotional about it. Cause you know, markets fluctuate. This is good, like volatility. All right, that's how you get gains too. But I got a couple of my friends know. yesterday were, uh, were like, uh, dude, did you look at the market today? I'm like, nah. Don't I'm like, look. I, I'm like, I know, it's, I know it's a shit show, but uh, I, I actually go in, you know, I, the only thing I actively manage in the market is my, uh, my little Robinhood option accounts. I do sell side options. Oh yes, so I love volatility because I just go close all my options and <laughs> not like <laughs> go harvest all the way. I don't look at my Merrill because you know, mm. I probably have a heart attack. But um, but it, you know it it's it is what it is. Markets move. We're, we're just in a place where a lot of people have never seen a down market, and they're like, oh, this is not as fun. And I'm like, well, <laughs> well yeah. especially investors who just caught the wave, like the pandemic yeah. stocks, and started on Robinhood in 2020. With the, 
Yeah. We well, welcome <laughs> to this. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Good time to think about diversifying, get, getting some safe money options that are not a savings going, account. <laughs> going to learn. I, I think yeah. I'm going to buy one of these a month for like 10 years, and then it's going to be a little pension system for me, right? I like that. A little do, do DIY pension, because it, it'll pay, I think, when mine matures that I bought last month in, in 10 years, it'll be $1,450 or something. And mm -hmm guaranteed you know so each month if i had 1450 dollars, like that's pretty cool you know it's a yeah. nice little whatever yeah Pay it has some. its role yeah well thank you this is a great conversation always yeah. it's been too long we should do it again we'll do it again anytime you want all right thanks john thanks Emma.